Hello and welcome to Let's Get Real Podcasts. This is episode five and the topic today is becoming unresistible. <laughs> we thought just it's like a, me. Just like you, Nellie. <laughs> You're irresistible. Oh, irresistible. That's right. Same to you. So why are we talking about this today? I, I think it's a topic that has come up for me very frequently throughout my life. And, and I think others will be able to relate to this topic. Mm-hmm. Can you think of how many times you've been in a situation and you felt resistance? Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. I think if I was being honest, it's, it, it's every single day. And I don't enjoy sharing that, but that is the truth. There's, there's at least probably 10 things. I'm aware of it, but there's probably 10 things a day easily. Yeah, and I, I think if, if you honestly reflect on your life and, and situations that are hap- that happen on a daily basis, there's many times a day where we have a resistance and we're, we kind of pull back and, and in our mind, we just say like, I don't want this. I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be here right now. There's, there's so many situations that, you know, I've found myself in where resistance was coming up for me really strongly. I, I, I can actually apply that right now because um, when you asked me to do this, first of all, resistance came up um, <laughs> just for a split second, but I wanted to, my desire to do it was greater because I wanted to grow. And um, I, I just thought, I'm not qualified to do this. You have so much uh, experience in this and you know, I have difficulty expressing what I feel sometimes, or, or to my thoughts rather. Sure. Um, so it, it comes up before we sit down every time, but it's not stopping me from doing it. Yeah. And, and I think that's, that's a key thing to, to, to look at is how many, how many situations do we resist and then we stop ourselves short from doing the things that we want to do. So I I think that's a really good point. How many situations have we found ourselves in where we resist to the point where we give up or we we resist some of the things that we know we want to do, but yet we don't we don't actually follow through with it. And we've been talking about this in almost all the other podcasts about following your heart and listening to your soul's truth. So I think this topic sort of goes hand in hand with what we've been talking about. You might want to follow your heart, but yeah, it prevents you from doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing that I notice when I've moved into resistance is that I feel a contraction in my body. Mm -hmm. I feel my body tighten up. I've instantly moved into a stress and my body started to, starting to take on stress. And then the, the other thing that I notice is that I'm moving into my mind because the dialogue that's happening in my mind is all around why I'm resistant or the, all the dialogue sort of revolves around complaining about something. It's the ego's really holding you there by doing that, right? And, and I, I find that the more that we talk in our mind, the more resistant we become or, in, or the more tension that we hold. And if we're resisting a, like a situation, say, where we have to go work every day, mm-hmm. that's, we may hold that tension and hold that, those resistant thoughts in our minds throughout the entire day. We yeah, could, definitely affects our health that way, right? I, I think it has a tremendous effect on our house, health. Do you think it's because, I, I think maybe it is, but we're, we're identifying with it as, as ourselves? Yeah, that's a good point. And that's why it, it obviously affects us and it's not, it's not based in truth, so it's a contracture, right? Mm-hmm. It's felt as, as that stress. Yeah, so the mind that comes, the, the voice in our head that rises up says, I, me, don't want to do this, mm-hmm. or I don't like this, I'm afraid of this. But that voice in your head is, is not who we are, rather it's just a component of the ego. The ego is constantly just chattering away mm-hmm. all day long, and it, it complains and it, it, it moves into to acceptance over things that it likes 
and it wants to repeat what it likes all the time. Yeah, there's definitely a, a distrust with life um, while we're while this is happening, right? Mm -hmm. So when, as I've I've looked at this topic um, thoroughly throughout the years, and I, you know, I sort of covered this topic when I talk about surrender. So when I think about resistance versus surrender, as soon as I say the word surrender, I feel it in my body. Like mm -hmm. there, there's an association for me of just relaxing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like I instantly let out tension in the my body. The body's saying thank you. <laughs> so the, this is a practice that I've been playing with for several years and it doesn't mean that I'm always good at it because as you know you live with me you see me resist all kinds of things mm -hmm. when, when you said that you have resistance in your life on a daily basis I, I'm no different than that so this is a, a practice that I'm doing yeah I think we were talking about how that every time it comes up it's an opportunity not to beat yourself up either right it's mm -hmm. an opportunity to really take a look at those areas exactly yeah so the next area I want to move into is understanding that whatever is showing up in our life is a creation. Mm -hmm. And and I would say that whatever whatever keeps showing up in your life is our creation. Mm -hmm. So the result of whatever's around us is the result of the choices that we've made. Conscious or unconscious. Conscious or unconscious. Yeah. It's the result of all the thinking, whatever we think about and, and have emotions about, comes about. Mm -hmm. So those things sort of start showing up in our lives. So it can be quite offensive at first when somebody says to you, you you're, you're creating everything yourself. It's still coming from you, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Let, allow those feelings to come up, even if they, they suck. <laughs> allow them to come up because they will not stay forever. It's just energy moving and it's trying to to find a way out to be expressed. Mm -hmm. We don't have to contract around it again, right? That's right. So when when we notice that there's so many things that we're resisting, the first my first thought now is is that this is my creation. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way, I've created this, or this this situation has been created for me, mm -hmm. not to me. And I, I, that was a point that my friend Susan Weisenberg said, mm -hmm. a friend of mine from Arizona, mm -hmm. she, many years ago, she said, Ned, your life is happening for you, not to you. Yeah, that was wise. And I, I've carried, I don't know if she got that quote from somewhere, but I've carried that forward many times in, in the area of resistance. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I'm thinking, poor me, this sucks, I can flip into the mindset. This is happening for me, not to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe the things that we resist the most are the, the very things that we need to surrender to. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not. I, you know, you can't, there's not a one size fits all, like in, in any of the topics that we talk about, right? So we've identified that resistance comes up frequently for me, for you, and I'm sure for everyone. And, and then we've moved into the next stages to maybe understand that what's around us is our creation. Mm -hmm. And I think when I started to take responsibility for everything that, was, that I was resisting, instead of me resisting it in my mind, I moved into acceptance and started to look at how is my inner world creating this outer world? What choices am I making in my life that supports this outer world to, to continue on? What, what creates all these opportunities for me to resist? And when I started to look at that, I started to see more clearly how I was going to manifest a life that I, didn't, that I no longer had to resist. Mm -hmm. So I think the difference now is that when I look at my life, there's fewer and fewer things that have been coming up for me to resist. And it's, it's because I've, I've started to become more conscious of what it is that I'm creating mm -hmm. in my life. And, and I think that's, that's the real turning point 
if is if you can instead of continuing to move into the mind into resistance if you can bypass that and just take a, a deeper look at what's around me where how can i create a life that's that becomes unresistible mm -hmm. how can i create a life where where i feel like what i'm doing is in sync with my soul's purpose my soul's truth and and i think that's the key it's not that when we decide to make a change that instantly our life changes and i think it's i think it's important that these are practices these are things that we put into motion and we we slowly grow these these things in our into our lives like when you plant a fruit tree it doesn't it doesn't flower and fruit in two days mm -hmm. it takes time to take root and to gestate and to grow that and so these are these are practices that i've been playing with for a long time and now that they're they're starting to grow fruit in my life mm -hmm. and the benefit is that my body doesn't i don't feel so much tension in my body i don't feel nearly as stressed as i used to i still have stress i still have stressful moments so how much has that changed your the world around you like your life is the people that you you draw to you are different everything's different right when you start mm -hmm. start shifting that from a more conscious place yeah in in a life that's full of resistance and full of me pushing at what i don't want mm -hmm. i'm actually just focused on the thing that i don't want <laughs> yeah exactly i'm not more focused. of it you get right i'm not focused on the love or the the life that I want to create mm -hmm. so it's like you keeping your your focus as a laser beam keeping it right on track with this is where I'm gonna be mm. so you, you hear people stay stay in your lane yeah that's great that. advice mm -hmm. I love that yeah. stay in your lane it, is your lane all the things that you are resisting I don't think so your lane is all the things that you know to be your path and your purpose mm -hmm. Any any final thoughts or or conclusions about resistance or, and acceptance? Yeah, I just want to say that with the way things are right now, where people feel that we don't have time, we don't have energy, because uh, our life is feeling de depleted. I just I feel like if you feel like you don't have the time to do that, why not try something different and mm -hmm. let go? And it's it's uh, I think it's just the ego that feels so so fearful you feel like if you if you let go and you trust um, that you're gonna somehow fall apart or I think it's the self you think you're going to just not exist anymore it's a threat to the the eye right mm -hmm. and uh, it's just it's just not true there's there's such a divine plan and everything is so choreographed in this life that we, we don't really need to worry about that and I'm I'm somebody who's who's trying to uh, learn that every day too. You know, even it's one thing to know it and another thing to apply it. You you can't be attached to the outcome that it's, it has to be easy or why isn't it easy yet? Or you're a good example. If you just hold focus, things will it will bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Things will change. But there's a, there's a lifetime of momentum, right? Absolutely. And I, I think you make such a valid point when you say that. Um, it's not that things are going to be easy and and we don't have to resist all the difficult things mm -hmm. and and accept and enjoy all the things that are not difficult mm -hmm. sometimes difficult produces what only easy dreams of you know there's I've found myself in many situations where I've just persisted through difficulty and just surrendered myself to, to just keep plugging away working at the thing that it is that I want to create mm -hmm. and in in the end there's so much satisfaction out of working through difficulty I think it's good to give ourselves a check to once in a while like sometimes we we feel like a victim to things and we're not you can you can either be a victim or you can be empowered right but you can't be both mm -hmm. and I try to remind myself of that and also um, I guess an example of, of the, a really difficult thing that comes up in life would be grieving when you when you lose somebody and 
you just you feel like it's impossible to go through it there is always grace there's always grace if you just stop cry if you must but if just stop and breathe and take a moment and there's there's grace in every situation is happening for us mm -hmm. for sure yeah even this morning you and i had a moment mm -hmm. we we found the video from my father's funeral oh, and yeah and instead of resisting that moment we both just cried together cried together mm -hmm. and we didn't resist that and it was it was actually a beautiful moment of release it was yeah, I, I, our hearts just became so full and we didn't know that was going to happen, but we didn't resist it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I th I th there's so many things that are, are waiting for us and we don't know because mm -hmm. we try to control it. But if we didn't, there's just, there's, you just can't even dream how many things are coming for you, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a certain mm -hmm. amount of things that we, we resist that will persist. Mm -hmm. until until we actually move into it and accept it mm -hmm. or move through it or move out of it whatever the case is and and sometimes the things that we're resisting are actually the things that we need to do the most it's it's our purpose trying to move forward into our lives mm -hmm. and and that's why certain things will persist as as long as we resist they're still going to persist well everybody thank you for mm -hmm. joining us thank you we appreciate all your comments and your feedback about mm -hmm. the posts. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank Bye -bye. you.